a lot. I can't quite find that number, but what did blow me away the other day is I have 29,000 views in total. Hi, which, yeah, but I've, but I've been at this for like five or six years of recording class. Which this is my eighth year teaching, but. All right, so <clears throat> why, why is 90B more complicated than all of the other ones that we've been dealing with? Okay, so let's be rational people. Okay, so hold on. I disagree with what you just said, though. So let's go to new page. And it was 2x squared plus, or is it minus? Plus? It was 2x squared plus. No, it was minus 13. So I get to trust me, Sammy. Minus yeah, 13. Don't trust me. Wait, I'm not and then, I've never trusted you. Come on. I don't know. Yeah, I was right. So are you looking at your homework? Because if we're going to talk about it, you should have this written down. If you're going to tell me it was hard, you spent time working on it, right? Yeah, or did you homework. just Wait, sad tell trombone? Wait, will you happened? He just said no. Oh, it's Science Fair Immersion Week, and they're all in the family room, and I forgot to tell them to leave space for you guys. Oh, it's okay. on me, my bad. So just shove those guys somewhere. Shove this. Okay. Did we like, like, I remember. We did that. Science Fair Immersion Week. Yeah, I was poor, but the thing was that last day, well, like, oh, the eighth graders, they'll just like, judge your project. Well, then go ask Mr. Kabila. Ah. Equal zero, right? Why was pretty good, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. You guys said. Yeah, I was pretty good. 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 I was I don't want to have to turn the light on, but we're all very busy. Are we going to be able to focus on this? Yeah. Unless anybody can tell me the answer. Oh, no. I put it in when I put it in the. They told me this problem was hard, and I'm like, okay, let's do it. But we're all still very excited. Wait, because the pod is different because all the kids study. Nobody cares. So this is 90B. 90B. Oh, this is science. I thought it was 1.5. So, you're, you're not wrong. You said divide everything by 2. That goes to everything. I'm going to write in new color because it's better. Or, yeah, you could do that. You're complaining about the decimal, so. No, so we factor that out of two. What are we trying to make work well, and what can we modify easily? What are we able to modify if we think about the computing as part of process? The square, the square square. What I did no, the two over the two. This part we can impact, right? So another way we looked at this was to get rid of your constant first, right? So if we alternative route, let's pause on that for a second. So guys, today's lesson is not really a lesson. It's, it's, it's quadratic formula. So sure, I don't care. So we can talk about this problem as long as we. I like when you guys just can't believe my answer to things. I like we don't have to. So. If I ask you, quite honestly, do you know the quadratic formula? You could yeah. sing a song about it. Right? <laughs> so, I, it came out of my pocket weird. I did not mean to throw it. It scared me. I thought you were throwing it. No. I was not throwing it. To be honest, if I do it, the thought in my mind is I should email, or not email, but YouTube send one of my videos to, to the dude to be like, hey, your song resonates with my students. So, okay, wait, alternative route. Let's go different color to, to just define that we're on a different screen. So if we first get rid of the constant, is, this would be a plus 24. Sure, I'll change. My, my seventh graders like it a lot, I think, because it's attention grabbing. I know. Yeah. So like, then, still, I could factor a two out of this side, right? So we're not really dividing; we're we're factoring it out. So x plus 
13 has x, sorry, this is x squared. And it'd still be equal to 24 if all we did was factor it. We could divide by 2, right? Because algebraically, we still were allowed to. So we'd say x squared. Plus 14, and then you could use a 14. This is why working in groups is better, because we, like that was a silly mistake, right? I knew what it was, but it was weird. You said 14. Okay. So, so wait, then in the completing the square process, what is our thought that we have right now? It should be a rational. I mean, it's, I don't know, maybe, but we're not there. Was that? Sorry, I adjust my glasses with my eye, not my face. So if you're going to interpret square, like, so you know what you want. I agree. Split the B value in half. Now hold on. To split the B value in half. Oh, it'd be 7.5, so then it'd be like a 13 fourths. <laughs> no, wait. Um, yeah, yeah 13 fourths. Thank you. Stop it. Don't switch back to decimals. We're working <laughs> back. It's like, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> I mean, if you want to put in a, a decimal that's even more digits to write, sure, fine, you can. I'm not saying it's wrong. But, so, if this is true, is what we're saying, we have to think about that. So then it'd be 13 fourths squared? Yeah. Stop. How do you square a fraction? 13 you multiply, you multiply it by itself. So it becomes smaller, right? Wait. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, oh, no, but that's bigger than one, so yeah. You're still moving forward with your calculator. Put it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so you do 13 times 13 divided by 13 squared. So yeah, it's, it's square the top, square the bottom. So it would be 139 divided by 13. So if this were the case, right, we're still talking in ifs. Sorry, I don't know if this were the case, can this... Can I square 13? Hold on, hold on. Yes. Can you square 13? That should be one that we just, like, have memorized. So we no. made the 13 halves no. x, really? but no. then... One six nine. Yeah, it's just it's it's fun because the six and the nine are both multiples of the three. So this. I got it right. I got it right. Hundred sixty nine. Sixteen. Okay. If we work it in decimals, fine. I'll write the alternative because yay for options. What would the decimal be of like three point two five squared? Why do we need this decimal? Yes, you have it. It's 10.5625. Wow, what a number. I can get out of it. Wait, I'm not a wonky moment. What do we then do? Okay, so, so you've added it to that one side, now you need to add it to the other, so you'd add that twice. So really, we're coming back to here and saying, okay, okay, 22. Yeah. This is no, to you added it to both. This is trying to get rid of it. Because you don't get rid of it. Wait, no, never mind. Sometimes the fractions work way nicer. Sometimes now that it's big and numbers that don't work great with each other, well, you know, we don't have to go that way. So if you like this better. <laughs> so just to make sure we're all on the same page, what we're doing is saying in order to make this true, I know you pretty much understand this, but I, I want to make sure, like, like I don't know. I want to, at some point, if nobody makes any mistakes at all, automatically do something special. Like, did I already ask you? Did we do, keep going up? I did bring you guys down up, didn't I? No. Oh, that was last year. Okay. The years start to run together. Did you, Are we, did you so say you did this? Oh, we oh, can oh, give them after ten. Who what? Oh, yeah, I can take you back. Okay, so I, I will no happily cookies. offer to cook breakfast at some point. Oh, my God. And or, I love cooking breakfast. And or, we can do pizza. But what I'm trying to do is get your attention and say, I know you think you get this, but let's make sure we totally get it. I know it. you think you get this. But... Completing the square is rough, man. That's why I'm trying to make sure that we're good. 
to make this true, nope. we've already got this part, we've already got this part, we don't have this part. So we have to add that to both sides. So this is that term that we figure out, whether we take the fraction or the decimal, that has to be added there and over here. So however you want to write the workout, you got to make the choice that works best for your brain. You should, because this was a homework problem of yours that I am just doing for free. And I knew that would be the No, like the clock strikes itself, not that. Yeah, so you want to remember the clock strikes. That's why I wanted to walk back through the whole thing. Because this, all of this in purple, is like what we want to be true. We want it to be true. Yeah, like we, up here in green, this is well, we ugly. Ugly. <laughs> right? So, we want to make it nice. Um... We're gonna run it through the car wash. I don't know <laughs> what makes things nicer. I'm just the car wash? I'm grappling with things. What so what we want to make happen, right? What we want. Money makes things nicer. We want yeah. a perfect square. Do you do no, right. We want a perfect square. Working with what we have. Working with what we have. If we make want to make thirteen twelfths, we use thirteen fourths or Okay, fine. Seven point five and three point uh seven five, right? Yeah, three point seven five. That isn't that what we squared down here? Or did we say the wrong thing? Because this should be half of seven point five is three point seven five. I trusted you. Double check that. Just make sure. Ten point, we might use three point seven five squared. Because I think I accidentally said three point two five because I wasn't thinking in decimals. Hold on, this is this is slightly wrong because we just made it a tiny goof. This isn't this seven and a half. Yeah, but there's still like two. Or no, it's six and a half. Yeah, oh, you were the one, guys. Yeah, we are making yeah, silly yeah. mistakes. Uh, yeah. what? I didn't say it. Was three eight. It was three eight. At one point, yeah, yeah. Like it's all good. Points. I wrote it there. It's hey, so we don't need to blame anyone. I'll take the blame. I'll even just yeah, own it. But I was not working in decimals, and at some point, somebody said seven point five. See, and then that was right. This is what. I, this is why you work in groups. But y'all should be double checking me. Yeah, she'll yeah. just trust the numbers. But then 3.25 is correct, right? Yeah. Okay. No, don't ever trust your teacher 100%. Oh, okay. <laughs> I make mistakes. Okay, so. That was a bad detour. All of this purple is what we want to make happen. Wait, so is that 10.5 on the left, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We had a moment of, I had a moment of trepidation. Look it up, it's a good five point word. So then we go back up here and do this so that we can make this happen. Right, so that we can make the perfect square happen. So if you're working in decimals, I guess, we've now made x plus 3.25 squared equal to Well, now I'm trying to like just make a, a key of what is going on. So when we did this, it made that happen, right? So I'm just trying to like give a key. Yeah, right. I'm just double checking all this. I, I think so too. I think we did it right. Let's double check it. The white that you didn't like, right? We added 24 to both sides, because now that we're actually all caring to write it, let's double check this. We added 24 to both sides. Okay. We then factored out the two, so that only changed the left side. We divided by two, 
right? All of this we probably should have written the work, but you know, my bad. We wrote what we had left after the division, and then we went on this road of like, I really wish this was a lot nicer, right? I wish it was perfect square. So we went down and thought this through. If I had that B value, what would be the B divided by two? 3.25, okay, fine. It's sort of nicer, I guess, in the long run. Then we decided, well, let's make that happen. Let's add that thing to both sides, which then allows it to be written in perfect square form. Yeah, because because what X equals? It, is, it makes this happen, right? Uh, five, six, B five. All right, are we all good how we get down to like aquamarine or turquoise, whatever color this is? It's kind of like ice blue. There we go. You know, I get it. Although my ice is nowhere close to blue. It's only blue. I don't know what your refrigerator is doing. You know, but that's what it's called. Yeah, that's why I know what it is. Now. Hey, what if we had a mini mastery on and completely spoke all of a sudden? No. I wouldn't do that to you, but come back to me. I'd be annoyed if that to us that you have to like make I don't, it's like, I don't think you understand quite how this negotiation works. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I'm fine with you just doing it All right, what do we do now? Carefully, it's like five, yeah, two weeks. <clears throat> what do we do now? Square root of 22.5625. Uh, <laughs> We did have an alternative route that might have involved it. Ooh, ooh, mm, we got lucky. Well, wow. lucky. Okay. Four point seven five, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Is that like a perfect number? Perfect. It's not perfect. It's perfect still enough. decimal. It's perfect enough. It's like I think four point seven five. Guys, I didn't look at that. Like last time, I <laughs> you're close to right. Yeah, you're close to right. So then you are close to right. Yeah. Wait, so then it'd be one point. No, no, plus or minus four point seven five. Yeah. I was about to say you're moving forward without being completely right. Yeah. Plus or minus. That needs to be written, guys. Oh. So if you have not been like um so I don't know, like paying attention five. enough, or like it's one thing to think it, but you gotta write it. Okay, get used to putting that in your work because people will someday eventually so be checking your work. Mm-hmm. So if we Definitely. subtract that from both sides, right. let's say it's negative, and that would become negative eight. Yeah. Yeah. One point five. That's what I got. Here, I'll bring That's my what I got too. Wow. Sorry, I thought you guys said this was really hard. Uh, well, I did not say it was really hard. hard. No one's really funny. Well, I, I didn't say it was really hard. hard. So you made a mistake somewhere. I, I, I didn't do a perfect square. I did it just like two by millimeter. Now, didn't we see yesterday that some perfect squares also work as perfect rectangles? Yeah. And perfect rectangles are just other binomials that have rectangle. rearranged the tiles. I didn't right? say it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, unusual. Like, like, yeah. It was harder than the other one. Normally, I go get like ice cream or something after a question like this. I know. You should get ice cream. Let's go. Are we all good with lactose? Is ice cream? Yeah, yeah. No, we gotta go race. I thought it was illegal. Ice cream sandwich. Ooh. I can stash a box of ice cream. Oh, I think we do. I thought it was anything illegal. Oh, I thought it was illegal. Sophia's being very quiet. You just like ice cream? Yeah, it's not cold. I kind of like ice cream. Yeah, it's like ice cream. All right. What else? I, I I'm a fan of ice cream sandwiches. What else I'm is difficult from yesterday's homework? I think that was it. Uh, uh, wait, what was? Wasn't there like some radical? Like oh, like, by the way, this problem oh, that I didn't yeah, give you. The math notes taught me how to do it. I just didn't know okay. where it was actually okay. really easy. Yeah, I still would do that. Anyway. Wait, which one? I said here. Yeah. Which one is? Hey, hold on, hold on. I cannot hear Sammy, and she's pretty darn close to me. Uh, I don't know if I put the, the other homework on it. I might need to go back. Are you talking about this? Wait, here we go. It's from this homework, right? No, it wasn't. 
Well, I gave you 77. I think it might have been from Friday somewhere. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> One of these questions? I was about to say, this kind of guides you into completing the square. Mm. So, there was a last known quantity. I read it, but now I'm still a little confused. Okay, well, somebody somebody less confused, help out Sam. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Actually, hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so the last note talked about this. I'm not going to type that in here. I read it, but I think I was so confused. You have to, like, Oh, I'm doing both. No, nope, you can do whatever you want. Oh, okay. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna do this. So you can put these two together, right? So you can like I don't know if I'm doing this right. I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay. If I'm doing this Hey, wrong, is this a safe place to take the risk of I hope it's doing like I hope I'm doing this right? Yeah. Yes. There you go. Don't worry oh, about it. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> because this person will definitely tell and you. And so like you need not one with love. to do mm -hmm. um you need well, one number to be a perfect square. <laughs> Hey, so wait, is that six under the radical or out of the radical? No. Okay, there we go. Is that better? Yes. Oh, Seriously. Oh, God, so see if I can do this. I always hate when they're, like, so close to, like, the square. Like, especially when they do it, like, on the big question. That's why when you're yeah, writing it, there. make it obvious. Yeah, wait, where are we? Where are we supposed do to that favor for everybody. This is last Friday, so I'm like, oh, last one, no one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which I seems, did it yesterday because I didn't want to do it over lunch. Yeah, same. I did it on Sunday. I this did was it on Monday. Monday night because I went to work today. And I did more homework than I did the other day. I hit with so much stuff in my head though. Okay, okay, I was just like, are you, are you, are you working on mastery? Yeah, but we have the mastery and English stuff to work on. What do you mean English stuff? Uh, Thai culture stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, now that you have I literally just said to you how the week was pleasant. Same. So I could just talk. Yeah, and I'll talk it all through. Did I do it right? Yeah. Right. All right, let's it's stop talking about language arts. Three times six, and then the three times six is not my homework. The not radical my homework. 18, but then I, can, then I get lost. Right. Okay, right. so basically, you need to figure out a way to get a perfect square under this thing, and then oh. have a perfect square. You see nine, and then you, like, how do I say this? Um, okay. So you want to put three square under it. So. Nine square root is three, and so you put the two in here, and then you put three up. Square root of nine is three. Yes. Now, be careful because how you wrote that is a little messy because your square root looks like a symbol that you invented. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. This is 3 times the radical of square root of 2. You don't need that multiplication, but make sure that people don't think it's the cube root. Oh, right? Okay, I I may just have us go. Hey, what hey, what are your directions? Oh, uh, we have a 10 minute break. Sweet, that'll work perfect, because then we'll be done. Because I think I did it. Yeah. Cool. Because, like, 5 times 16, you multiply it. So, yeah. here's the thing, just to make you sound, I think I did it. Do B for me. New B? Talk it out. Sammy. You got this. Sammy's, like, five. Yes, but you don't have to put it back in. You could, but that's only going to make us work with bigger numbers that would eventually factor out and maybe okay. just get back to the same thing. Well, then 2 and 27 times 9 times 3. Yes, now even before that, what's the rule about multiplication that makes it really nice that allows us to like, do some things? And it, like, if I gave you 25 times 37 times 4, would you do 25 times 37 and then times 4? So, if multiplication is commutative, and these numbers aren't attached in a specific order. So then I could do like a 2 times 5. This, we can rewrite as 2 times 5 times radical 27 times radical 3. Oh, yeah. So then it'd be radical 
And then it's 10 radical 3, 1. If you mess up, and it's not even a mess up, if you take a different route, and like you said, we can make this 9 and 3. But this expression in simplify the radical form, would 90 be fine? Yes, 90 is the answer. 90 is the simplest radical form. It doesn't need a radical. Yeah, that's radical form. It just doesn't need a radical. I get it. It's plus radical 0. So, like, seriously, if we're... Because, remember... This is how we're going to represent those complex numbers, not imaginary numbers, but those complex values. We represent it like this. We use an I. Uh, we're not done. But we're not done. Why are binders closed? Why are papers away? I don't have more papers away. My stuff is right. Look. <laughs> I get that you can kind of take advantage of my casual nature, but we have work to do. Okay, I get it. You are very welcome. Oh, but if you did take the route where you go 9 and 3, then you end up combining both radical 3s, and you still get radical 9, and that still becomes 3, and you end up with a string of multiplication, that still gets the same answer. Different way, same gives me. There are many right ways to get to Florida, that whole thing that I say. We're all meeting up in Disney. Okay, you didn't have any seventh grade, so you might not know some of these. No, if we're all meeting up in Disney World, yeah. and I, we just say like go, it, we probably won't take the same route, right? Unless like you know Google routes us all the same way, but we'll still probably take different detours. But if we all still end up at Disney, that's great. Different ways to get to the same place. Math is like a journey. Different ways to get to the same destination. There's one right destination. There's a lot of right ways. Mm, I mean, yeah. okay, yeah. If you get to Disneyland in California and I'm at Disney World in Florida, you're probably so happy. But... <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's, that's kind of how. Disney wait, what does that Disney be when you get World. one of the X's? What's, what's the different the part of this? Okay, do you want to do you want to see how fast we can speed through a lesson? Sure. Okay. Okay. We should try yeah, this. Positive attitude, because you know Let's my answer isn't going to be like yeah. persuaded. Well, you know what it was. Okay. <laughs> Quadratic formula and. Go. No. 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 We have quadratic trinomials, right? And it's quadratic because it's equal to zero trinomial because it's got three pieces. We can use the zero product property. Try to solve things like this. But when we multiply to make negative and add to make negative, things get a little wonky sometimes and they're hard to solve. So we develop different strategies, perfect square, all those things. But when none of those seem to work or when we just don't want to use them, we've got this, which as iterated in, I just get the name always because it's hard to pronounce, um, in that video, we can solve for why this is true, right? When we use y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, this all derives out when we literally force the algebra, right? So this is something that we can prove, right? Not a flow chart, we would probably see call in it, but it works. So if you want to take the time to once program your calculator to have this in it, you can actually write a program so your calculator will just ask you what's the A, the B, and the C values. I want to do that. So you can really just copy the code that Leanne has. If you have the right chord, you could literally just transfer it calculator to calculator. Well, uh, uh, so this is where, and you guys have pretty good attitudes about this, but this is where all of the really hard work we've been doing isn't really necessary. So, it's about understanding how we got where we are, but now we can just use technology to help us <laughs> out. So, the one problematic thing that I want to caution you again about, your calculator is silly, and you need to make sure 
that this is in the proper form so that you get a positive result if you put in a negative. A great way to test that is build this one piece at a time. So if we want to start building this in our calculator and just like typing things in correctly, ha, ah, you're fine. That was a play on words. Um, in correctly. And actually, I'm going to jump over some of the, we could do this and we could try that. If you want to type this all in, this has to be the negative, not the minus, right? The B value, which if you want to make your life easy, you could use parentheses in the, like all of these. Then choose plus or minus on the first time I type it in. I normally do plus. Radical symbol. And here, everyone, we have five minutes. Just practice this to see that we all get the same results. So even if you have your own calculator, you can uh, Sometimes we all need a validator. Right? Put your B value that is under the parentheses here in its own parentheses, or under the square root. It might seem like typing all of those parentheses is excessive, but later you'll appreciate it when you second entry and then edit and you can edit real fast or if you're programming your calculator you want it to be as clear as possible so your calculator doesn't have any chance at making mistakes all of this should be in its own parentheses and then we would type the divided by everything is in its own parentheses you can go back and edit Now the formula has like the horizontal division, but when we type it in our calculator, then at the very end, we're gonna do divided by, and I actually do quantity two times A, because otherwise it can accidentally divide by two and then multiply by A, which is different than divide by two times the A. So putting this in its own parentheses is also a very, very good decision. Because if you don't, sometimes you'll get the right answer, sometimes you won't. Actually, I, I take that back. I think you'll always get the wrong answer unless A is one. If you don't put these parentheses on, I'm trying to caution you guys on, on your tech usage, right? I'm not even really teaching a whole lot today. These parentheses keep it from doing, let, let's call the numerator Z, right? Your calculator's gonna do Z, the numerator. Hey, hold up, give me your attention real fast. We have like three minutes. It's gonna do Z, but if I type this, guess what happens? Z divides by two, and then the whole thing gets multiplied by A. If I type this, it multiplies A by two, and then divides Z by that. It's different, completely different, unless A is one. So put these parentheses here. Put an excessive amount of parentheses on everything. So now, using that typed inversion, let's see if we can all get the same answer for this. We'll try one with an A that is not one and make sure that we're comfortable. Even if A is 1, type it. Even if A is 1, type it. Like with the parentheses and everything. Even if A is 1. I got the thing now. So I can do like 2, negative 2. Make sure you use negatives, not minuses. Negative 2. So A is 1. Oh, negative 2. 1. Negative 2. Yeah, so you're going to have negative parentheses, negative 3. Program. That was exactly my plan. I like that you just said that, right? Validation meeting, like on a personal level of like, this is a good test because you got the same oh. answer. You're right. That's like, this is a good test. This is why you should do math in groups. Oh, I put my calculator on here. Oh. I have a table set up. Okay.
Hey, if I'm ever not here and you're looking to charge your calculator over here, this cable's sticking out. There's a calculator. Thing. I still don't know where mine is. So, I think it's probably. We should all have the same answer of. Oh no, go to. Or error. I have two in parentheses. Yeah, but remember, things get cleared when you guys take those tests. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's not that bad. I, I don't think I'll be able to play it's these. It's fun tests having taken tests because it's fun. <laughs> I think it's ingrained into my brain. Oh, no, but the math one. All right, I had typed something wrong, and this is. Oh, you just went to. You I copied the program. program. Yeah. No, so now we're all just going to have to do that. Yeah, I just can't. Even in the program. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that is like what you're going to want to type in when you go to program. Yeah, I know. I was putting it down. Like, I'm rewriting it again. I get it. I get it. Wow. You put negative, negative three. No, wait. Also, this book has to be in italics. I typed in an answer wrong and I was yeah. getting an error for non real numbers <laughs> because my calculator is, it, is not is it in a minus sign? complex number mode. Uh -huh. okay. Wait, you should get four and negative one. Oh, I get four points. So you're probably four missing a parenthesis on that. No joke. Can anybody check what you have typed for your formula? Yeah, probably. Oh, no. Wait, 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 no, I did 16. Probably wrong. Wait, Liam, what did you get? For the plus sign. Oh. Yes, I get the yeah. plus sign. <laughs> wait, 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 Tokyo, I mean, we'll show you it on one and then we'll do it on the other. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to do it on the other. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Second one into a parenthesis. Yeah, you did. Uh, and then do it from the formula. Wait, I was right. So David, that is the wrong, difference between it squaring the value. Is that it? Is that it? Shouldn't you try it again? Excuse me. Oh, I you don't put that plus sign. Here, I'm, I'm coming in. And it is time for lunch. We can keep doing this tomorrow. But yeah. Here, Amy, so you can oh, see that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go back to your program. Wait, wait, wait. I accidentally deleted some of the programs. This is this whole quantity Z divide by two, then I'll multiply by A. Do it later. I'll fix yeah, it later. Around, around the two A. I'll fix it later. No, we're fixing it now. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Okay, don't use that formula until you fix it. I want to figure this out. Like, you can also, this is the, like, um, I don't want to say cheater's way out, but you could also search up on YouTube programming quadratic formula in PI 83 or 84, whatever you want to type in. That would work as well. All right, Lane, have a great day, man.